if it was your last day on earth, what would you do? Would you hang at the back or jump ahead of the queue? Would it be a waste of your time to feel awkward or shy? Would you feel as embarrassed to be seen to cry? Would you let people in or still shut them out? Would you have any time to ponder self-doubt? Would you consider your options instead of carrying on, letting opportunities pass you by until they're all gone? Do thoughts make your actions harder than they seem? Do you pursue the impossible or give up on your dream? If time's running out, would there be a moment to lose? Was it ever less important, the price of your shoes? At the end of the day, you can stand back and reflect what aspect of the day had the most crucial effect. It's the things that you did and the friends that you made. And all this because there was no time to feel afraid. So keep doing what you're doing, but subtract the fear because no one really knows how long we are here. The concept is simple, but not that easy to master. And time doesn't slow down, it only moves faster. So when life gets in the way and it becomes too tough, don't just give up, now you're exhausted and rough. This could be your last day on earth. Say enough is enough. So the hidden message in that poem was that most people live their lives based on fear and it controls them and stops them from doing all the things they want to do. And I'm one of them people. Fear has always controlled my life up until recently. So because fear has had this control over me, I thought I'd learn as much about it as I can to try and overcome it. And what I did learn is that there's two main factors about fear when you break it down. And that's that there's rational fears and irrational fears. And there's only one truth about all fear. And that's the truth about fear is the fear that you feel like you can't handle it. So if we look at um, rational fears, the most common rational fear in the world is fear of flying. I don't actually suffer with the fear of flying. I'm quite happy to hop on a plane. But for people who do have a fear of flying, it's not about the fact that they're flying through the air. That doesn't bother them. It's the fact of when they're up in the plane, if something's going to go wrong, if that plane's going down, the engine goes wrong, the pilot's not well, something bad's going to happen, what can you do when you're up there? Not a lot. So it's the fear that you can't handle it because, well, let's face it, you're on a plane, you can't. You're too late at that point. Um, so like I said, it's a rational fear. I'm just too stupid to have that one. Um, a more irrational fear now, and this is probably the most common irrational fear in the world, one that I actually suffer with, a fear of public speaking. Now, when you have a fear of public speaking, it's not a fear of talking to a large group of people. It's a fear that when you, when you do it and the pressure's on, you could mess up, you could forget what you're gonna say, you could tell a joke that doesn't land, you could offend the audience, and more, more often than not, be really boring. So, when you do get that feeling, it's again, it's the feeling that you can't handle it in the moment that pressure hits. So if you actually look at rational and both irrational fears, it's, it, is, it boils down to that same thing, is it's a fear that you can't handle it. And that happens because your subconscious brain wants you to stay safe. So what it does is it sends out all these signals into your body where you feel sick, you, know, you get anxiety, churning in the stomach, anything to get you to avoid facing that fear. But the problem with the subconscious mind is, even though it's there to protect you, it stops you from growing. And although it's, you know, you, you, you're playing it safe by avoiding all your fears, nothing can get worse, you can't get hurt, but it can't get better. So it's just, you know, a fast track to living a really boring, not very meaningful life. But what I learned about fear is that you can overcome that feeling. Every time you face your fear, accept that you're gonna feel them nerves, but don't let them stop you. Because all it is is your brain trying to protect you and tell you that you can't handle it. But I know for a fact that you can because I'm here today doing it. So feel the fear and just do it anyway because you can handle it.